Yes, it's your past Lord of Zurich once again. Taking the news out of the Kilu. UK news online. Here's the headline. UK may ask a weary EU to delay Brexit until June 30th. London apps. Exactly 100 days after Britain vote to leave the European Union. And nine days before the shadow to walk out the door, Prime Minister Theresa May hit the pause button Wednesday, asking the bloc to postpone the UK's departure until June 30th. EU leaders who are ex exhausted by Brex Britain's Brexit melodrama will only grant the extension if May can write the UK Parliament approval next week for her twice rejected Brexit ordeal. Otherwise, the UK is facing a ca chaotic no deal departure from the bloc within days or a much longer delay that may say she will not allow while she is in power. May who spent Two and a half years trying to lead Britain out of the EU said it was a matter of great personal regret that she had to seek a delay to Brexit. In a television statement from 10 Downing Street, May says she shared the frustration felt by many Brixton who had enough of endless Brexit debate and infighting, though she did not accept a role in causing it. Instead, she blamed Parliament for the deadlock and warned that if lawmakers did not back her deal, it would cause irreparable damage to public trust. It is a high time we made a decision, May said. While Brexit is having their own problem, you see. In a letter to European Union Council, Donald Tux, May acknowledged that the Brexit process clearly will not be completed before 29th of March 2019. The date fixed in law two years ago for Brexit for Britain's departure. We are so talking of Brexit, Brexit, that I keep on jumping words. May ask to delay Britain withdrawal until June 30th and said she would set out a reason to EU leaders at a summit in Brussels on Thursday. That will be today. Her long shot plan is to hold a third vote in Parliament on our deal next week, then use the EU granted extension to pass the legislation needed for an orderly departure from the EU. As Prime Minister, I am not prepared to delay Brexit any further than June 30. She told the House of Commons, a hint she could quit if Britain is forced to accept a longer pause. Took said he thought a short delay to Brexit will be possible, but it would be conditional on a positive vote on the withdrawal agreement in the House of Commons. May's request and Tuck's response leave Britain and the bloc facing Brexit uncertainty right up to the deadline for departure. Withdrawing without a deal could mean huge disruption for businesses and UK residents, as well as those in the 27 remaining EU countries. Even if the hope for a final success may seem frail, even illusory and although brexit fatigue is increasingly visible and justified 
We cannot give up seeking until the last moment a positive solution, Tuck said in Russell. Tuck made clear what other EHU leaders have long hinted. The EHU is unwilling to give Britain more time unless the government can find a way out of Brexit impasses. German Foreign Ministry Eiko Maas said that if the EHU Council is to decide on extending the deadline for Britain, then we would like to know why, why, why. French Foreign Minister Jean Yves Laden said a delay could only be granted if May guaranteed that its purpose is to finalize the ratification of the deal already negotiated. EU leaders are united in saying that the divorce deal is spent more than a year and a half negotiating with Britain can't be renegotiated. But the deal has twice been rejected, twice by ethnic margin in Britain's parliament, amid opposition from pro-Brexit and pro-EU lawmakers. Mayor's plan to try again this week to get the agreement approved onto the Speaker of the House of Commons ruled that she can't ask Parliament to vote on the deal again unless it is a substantially change. May told us that despite the ruling, it remained my intention to bring the deal back to the House. She is likely to do that next week within days and hours of Britain's scheduled departure. By arguing that circumstances have changed and the Speaker's bar on a third vote no longer applied. But she struggled, or she faced a struggle to overturn the huge margin of defeat for her deal in previous vote in January and last week. Tusk did not say whether the EHU would be willing to grant a long stay or a long delay to Brexit if Britain changed course and abandons May deal for a new approach. British opposition politician and pro-EHU members of May Conservative government have urged a longer extension saying a delay or just a few months will leave the country once again facing a no-deal Brexit this summer. They want to commit to a close post-Brexit economic relationship with the bloc to ease disruption for businesses and citizens. Opposition Labour Party lawmaker Angela Eagle said May should stop banging her head against the brick wall of her defeat deal and seek cross-party support for a new Brexit strategy. But a shift to soft Brexit would infuriate, infuriate the pro-Brexit wings of May's divided party and a long delay would require Britain to participate in May's 23-26 election for the European Parliament. May said postponing Brexit beyond June would insult, would, would result in Parliament spending endless hours contemplating its navel on Britain. Any delay that require Britain to take part in European parliamentary election would be a major headache for the bloc. Britain's seat already has been allocated to other countries to fill in May's election. Britain believed it would not have to participate if it got three months delay because the newly elected European 
parliament is not due to convince until July. Some EHU leaders take a different view and want to end by 23rd of May, the first year of the European election. The Brexit fuel politic chaos has drawn reaction raging from sympathy to scorn at home and around the world. On its front page Wednesday, the Brexit backing Daily Mail newspaper bemoaned the time since the ref referendum as 100 days or 100 lost days. Juncker said Britain's parliament need to decide whether it would approve the only deal that was on the table. If this doesn't happen, and if Great Britain does not leave at the end of March, then we are, I'm sorry to say, in the hands of God, he said. And I think even God sometimes reach a limit to his patient. Wow. So Britain have their own problem, their own dilemma. They are running out people and they are also running themselves out because see now they run out of time and now they're begging for time under the leadership of Theresa May. So it's every country are facing their own dilemma. But Britain has got it right up to their nose. My viewers and subscribers, let me your views on this. Whether positive, negative, what it has to do with my stopping and my blocking. But let me your views on this. This is the Apostle of Zurich saying, Shalom.